Previously on The Code, Life with the Mariners. You know, if there's one thing you can say about Monty is that he's one of those players that will put 110% in every time he goes on that pitch. Hey Victor, how are you mate? You good? I'm just confirming our session today at 12 o'clock. You ready to go? Up. Good. I hope they work as hard as they can. They, they try their hardest. We use the recovery session to assess how everyone's come up from the game. We're blessed with a beautiful environment here, so on a nice day we try to get here as often as possible after a game. You know, a few of the boys helped out, we painted the walls, we got the whiteboard up to get things a little bit more organised, we got some carpet down and we've made it at home. The players get there an hour and a half before the game, so I get there about an hour and a half before they get there to make sure that everything's set up. season. McBreen into the area, lovely quick feet. Daniel McBreen with the opening goal down in front of the red and black block. Goes straight past Dozhovsky into the area, they're queuing up in the middle. Shinjiono off the line by Bowich. Fabulous defending from the Mariners number four. Well, amazing. This is an incredible escape by the Mariners. Kyra, well there'll be no offside here, it's a back pass, and McBreen has got his second of the evening. I'm going to do my stretching exercises before we're going. <laughs> Actually, it is a bit sore. Yeah, it's lumping a bit. Cold? Hey? All right, here we are. Down at Terrible Beach, down from our house. Made the trip down with the boys. Me and Justin are going to go out for a paddle and a surf. But Justin's a surfer in the, uh, in the household. <clears throat> As we all know, I can't surf, so... I have to ride this big boat to try and get on a wave while the sun's out. <laughs> ah! Pass, why are you shaking your head for?
good game, eh, last night? Decent. Good win. Good crowd. Good side, very good side. But to win 2 0 was good. Keeps our style, at least. It's the main thing. Yeah. Tasmania this week? Yeah. Oh. Has he? Have you been in before? No, I've never been there. You been to Tasman? I have once before. Oh yeah? When I was younger. Where are we going, Launceston? I think so, yeah. Well, what's the weather there? I don't know, actually. It was cold last time I went. There was snow on the mountain. There's no snow there. There was snow. 100% yeah. there's no snow there. <laughs> hey? I went. Have you been? No, I haven't been. <laughs> there's good waves out there today. There's a couple hey, of right ones. Yeah. Oh, when we started, when we moved. One of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. What? Oh, <laughs> you snapped the paddleboard in half. Yeah, but it wasn't my fault. No, I have, have, why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> Whose fault was it? Yeah, well, I had to, I had to jump off. I went, at least I went it. didn't <laughs> win out. Yes. Hey, what are you laughing at? Just stay on it. What do you mean, stay on it? Cut in I would have landed on up on the sand with you. There was one before that that just missed your head. I had to put the paddle in the air to use it like, as it like, because I thought I was underwater in case you lost me. It was like a flag. Any up this little West Sydney and give a good positive review to the boys. I think if we if we make the point about how they carried out the game plan well, what a fantastic atmosphere, wasn't it? Huh? A little football atmosphere, the supporters and them are. Brilliant, aren't they? Good little roll up of our supporters, huh? They filmed a bay. One thing I was very happy with, huh? I thought that we kept Ono real quiet. Not that he didn't give, we didn't give him any space. Both the young boys did well on him, and he's, uh, he's the one that makes them tick. So, it's nothing negative, huh? No. I don't think we have to, we don't have to pull any individuals in and I think as a team performance, everyone done a good job. We've got short week, huh? But today and tomorrow, tactics against victory, and then tomorrow, Arvo, we're down in Sydney to go to Tasmania on Friday. Let's move on, huh? Victory. Get the ball. Yeah, you've never got it once. Everyone else gets it. You just stand there like you're the oldest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's because I didn't go straight. <laughs> Go on, Juki. Go, Jukes. Yeah, same. I don't even know the last time I threw a ball. Dude, that's good. That's not a bad swing, that. <laughs> that was a bit of pace. Same. I'll show you the DVD stuff tomorrow, obviously, in Tasmania. But uh, just the main thing is is how we keep our structure in transition. So I just wanted to go through that. There's lunch as well, sandwiches and fruit. <laughs> Tap water. <laughs> Tap water. We're going up in the world. Of course, you're not looking happy today, bud. Oh, no. All right. It's cloudy, mate. You should be very happy. Okay, off we go. Their strength of Archie and Rojas and Flores is their weakness. And we have to expose it, and we've got to go for it. Whenever the ball gets played to them out wide, we need to double up straight away. So Pedge and, and Rosie, in that situation, we don't want to live in 1v1. The yellows will start. I haven't made up my mind the starting position but we will start with the first block with a team that started last week and we'll change the second block so I can have a look at more ideas, okay? Off we go. Come on, sharp enough. Feet. Arnie, I think a point you could make to Rosie and Pidge to simplify is when they go forward, you know how Ollie got caught over there? It's a hell of a long way for uh, Ollie to run from here to pick up Rojas. Yeah. Patrick's got to go on Rojas and Ollie comes back central defence. Last couple! Pick up the level! Come on! So today, yeah, I bark today. And I get pissed off. So I need the brains switched on for a tough challenge, huh? Tough challenge. Gains victory. If we play to the best of our ability, I've told you this many times, no one can touch us. No one can touch us. The only thing that can undo us is ourselves. Don't get like that. Do everything precise. You do it at training, you do it in the game. It's simple. So the pitches are clear. Macca, clear, everything up front. Quaz, Mikey. <coughs> so well done. 
grab a drink. Although Graham Arnold is responsible for the team's preparation overall, it is John Crawley, with his specific skill set, that guides the team's keepers. And, um, well, the theme for the session today is just high balls. Um, and in particular, just balls that are uh, not coming from the uh, wide in the channels, but uh, we're covering that as well as kind of short ones. Basically, we try and cover all angles, all particular distances when we're dealing with crosses. In practice, go out off your line, just see how far you can get before you feel uncomfortable. See, see, what, see what it feels like out there? So I want you to land on the ground. I don't want you to stay on your feet. I want you to push for everyone. Even if you're late, whatever, I want you to go. Yeah, with, with conviction. But more than likely, where's he going to kick that? More than likely. Well, near post, far post, but somewhere here. So the more you're off your line, the more you can come out and win that ball out there. Yeah, that's the idea. Don't defend your goal in a cross situation. Defend the space in front of you. Yeah, go. Good. Coaching is all about just kind of staying in behind the goalkeeper and, and uh, seeing the game through his eyes. But uh, I mean, sometimes he's not doing uh, quite a lot, it might not seem, but uh, quite a lot is probably everything. It's organisation, it's, it's communication, it's, it's saying the right things at the right time, it's seeing the right pitches, it's driving players and it's um, um, bringing them down when they've done something poorly but really building them up when they've done something well as well and that keeps them on their toes. Good, easy, yep. He's on your bump, he's on your bump. Hold, 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 hold. Blade, still there. The Mariners arrive and settle into Tasmania, a unique trip for the team on a special day for New Zealand-born Michael McGlinchey. With midfielder Tommy Rogic trialling with Scottish club Celtic and several other players fluting with international clubs, the senior playing group must ease the pressure and refocus the team. What would you see you out there, man? Striker? Boyer? It is the former Celtic midfielder McGlinchey comfortably taking on more of this responsibility. However, a poor couple of days by the team in general has coach Graham Arnold more than a little frustrated. I want you guys to do something. I want you to prove me wrong. So I'm not sure if you can hear for that. I'm not sure if you're here for this, you know? Prove me wrong, because I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Because yesterday it was sloppy, and that wasn't great. OK, probably the reason I'm a, a little bit sharp with you guys the last couple of days also, when I say about being sloppy, is I don't see anything there to worry about if we play to our best performance. Structurally, there are shambles. They're quite all over the place, and they give you a lot of space. What I want tomorrow, Mille and Mikey, when the ball goes there, block the line, and then address that problem then, let it go. Because, look, they don't have a central striker. So, show them inside. Is that clear? He was breathing normally in, but it was just like a little. <laughs> <laughs> you honestly know, see, like, you know, when you have a silence on a gun? Yeah. It was just like that. <laughs> like Launceston itself, game morning starts quietly and gradually for the Mariners. You know how Mossy has his column? Yeah. And at the bottom, you should say, oh, and the boys' tip of the week is. Yeah. Don't follow Hutch. Yeah, game day is um, 
usually our time. Uh, as Arnie says, it's his job's done and then it's our time to shine. So everyone's pretty relaxed normally game day. You know, you don't want to be stressed out before you start to take the field. Shut up, that's enough. Oi, that's enough now, that's right? Enough. We have a team walk, which is normally just a bit of fun. We have a stretch. We get the ball out, have a little knock around. Um, normally we have to go around the circle twice in the air. And uh, we have pre matched some video. And then we're off on the bus to the game and you know, most boys are concentrating on their jobs by then. Everyone's switched on, ready to go for a, hopefully the three points that we're chasing. Hutch's way of dealing with nerves on a plane is to start cracking jokes. Yeah. And Arnie started getting anxious about it, so he's going, Hutch, the joke's over now. And, I'm, and I was looking at Arnie, I was pissing myself. He goes, but there's no, an airport down there. I'm like, do you think he's going to be flying us to somewhere there's no airport? He goes, well, I can't see it. Good lads, good! Ferreira, Milligan, Flores, Thompson, Rojas, Ferreira, Dolesky, Dolesky, Leia, Ansel and Co. So just okay. ask him if he's going to take it. If he is, you stay back. Just, just, huh? just yeah. sit in front of us. Yeah. Mm. If it's a direct shot from Pedge, I've just got you outside the wall. Fancy scooping a ball over the wall for him? That today for me is the key. Defensive discipline. If we're all not going to roll up our sleeves, work hard for each other, but also play to the structures in defence and know what their dangers are, then we could be in for a tough day. Because with the ball, we're better than them. With the ball, we can do more than them. So defensive discipline is the key. Everyone do your jobs. Everyone help each other. Clear. So you know there's two teams out there? Huh? Yeah! Well, it's about time he showed us. Oh, hey! <laughs> For the visual! Hey, you allowed to sit on, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Mikey, Mikey, get in the pocket. Just go in there, go in there, go in there. Yeah. No. Oh, no! Oh. Anywhere but there. Shake. Go on, Mikey. Go on, son. Quick. Ah. Marco Rojas looking to chase Daniel McBreen on, in the mate. scorer's chart. Steps up and saves oh, yes. by Matt Ryan. Oh, please. Yes. You've got yes. You've got to look in your back for yeah. Flores. Yeah. Tell Hutch to slide. Yeah. If you have to come across the right, he yeah. takes Flores. Right. Yes, yes, let's go. Yep. Best, One day! Huh? Make a difference for us, huh? Where are you going? The flag going. Down this time. Archie arrowing in at the back post. Rojas for Traore. The cutback. The Flores shot. Where the f is he and going? Marcos Flores has finally given Melbourne victory the lead here. It's victory one. Mariners nil. Come on, get us through the halftime. Come on. Hey! Oh, you're joking! Hey! Hey! Jared! Open your eyes! How the hell was that? Hey? Alright, you can go, please. What for? What for? Up to the sand. Why? Because you're a football. No, you can go, please. What for? Jeez, I'll tell you what, you got thin skin, you boys. Hey? You're in there, Jared. No problem. Now the Mariners coach will have to make his way straight to the changing room where he will await his side. Second half, and the intensity's not there, and the desire to shut the ball down, that are our principles. Get it, stay here. Just now I'm gonna go sit up the fucking stand for a couple of weeks. Why? Because I'm fucking trying to protect and help you boys. Hey lads, we need a reaction to that. Hey, second half, we have to take the game to them. Do our jobs defensively, and with the ball, we're positive. No easy out. Elves! Elves! Gillette, no! Stop! Think about the sun, Holt. Think about the sun. For the keeper. Good. Good, Mikey. Go on, Mac. Search him, search him! Search him! With Hutchinson now. Looks for Sturzhovsky. The header back across. McGlinchey hey! gets the ball. Now what's the yes. referee decided here? Penalty. He didn't make contact with the ball. He did with the shoulders and neck. 
of Michael McGlinchey. Daniel McBreen steps up, sends yes. Coe the wrong way. Yes, back up, Mikey! It's only a minute and a half to go, huh? It's only a minute and a half to go. Rick, please explain to me what's going on. A look at the watch from the referee, and there goes the full-time whistle. The Central Coast Mariners have held on and have come away here with their lead atop the table, cut to two points. I've never been sent off in my life, right? So I hope you understand why I went off. You understand, Hutch, Patrick? But I think it was one of them yet, just gave you a kick up the ass you needed. Second half, just carry out the game plan, give them no space. What did, Matty, what did you do second half? We had the chances. We had the chances. I don't understand why the first half. I don't understand. I'm going to go through it with Clarkie with a fine tooth comb. Why Thursday was like it was? Why yesterday was like it was? Why you felt like that first half? And I want honest feedback from all of you to Clarkie, not, not to me, on how you felt and why you felt like that. Was it because of last Sunday playing in the heat? Was it because maybe? 37 degrees on your day off, knocked you about because you're out doing things, the beach and etc. They're questions I can't answer. They're questions you guys can answer. Next time on The Code, Life with the Mariners. You know you're going to have mates here that you'll, you'll have for the rest of your life because you're so close and uh, you know so much about each other. and. Uh, spend a lot of time with each other. <laughs> it's come to train this morning and see my good mate Percy. Some of the, the dirtier jobs that, that I definitely require as a footballer. It probably all started at the start of this season, something that a couple of boys we had, um, and then it just built on from there. You know, new player each day, and, and next week will be another player join on, and it's just a matter of uh, coming in and remembering all the handshakes. How it's going to work this afternoon with Arnie in the air conditioned booth upstairs and you down on the sideline? Reckon Arnie would have got his message through. Rose wants it again. Now can they produce the final balls? Deflected, saved by Berrigini. And cleared by Galloway. 